Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. Uh, we're continuing our series about under 40 budget bourbons. And now cheap. we're... We're doing cheap whiskey, folks. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheaply priced, affordable whiskey. Uh, and also, yes, uh, and also, that's what I meant to and also, say. uncorking. This is Jim Beam White Label. Has a mash bill of 77% corn, 13% rye, and 10% malted barley. It's four years old. Uh, it's really? 40, four yep, years old. Four years old. It's 40 ABV. It's 80 proof. Oh. It is a mainstay at every bar you will ever go into in America, and probably Not pretty close. Every, I, I'd say 92% of bars have Jim Beam in it. You think so? Yes. Yes. You yes. think so? Yes. Um, so yeah, so this series is about the bottom shelf bourbon that's it's gonna be under 40. Should you have it, if you start in your bar, should you, you need this whiskey? Should you get this whiskey? Gene, what are you getting on the nose? Okay, what? So also, let me know in your whiskey collection, even if you only have three bottles, what is your bottom shelf that you own? Okay. Um, I'm, I got two different things. My very first whiff oh. was like, I had a, a wooden box that was been left out in the rain and the sun and then the rain and then the sun again and then i got close to it and i opened the lid and i got that musty wood smell yeah. and my second whiff was more delightful it was uh still a lot of oak but now there's cherry in it there's tons of cherry on my oak i usually get cherry with jim beam products um i do uh uh it's over there in a the case i forget the name of the whiskey that jim beam makes but uh we spent two hundred dollars on it. I can't remember what it is. Booker. Booker. Is it Booker? Cherries. Cherries. Is it uh, Booker's. Probably. Is that what you're talking about? Probably. They also make Knob Creek and a bunch of others. I'll usually get a cherry one out of it. Oh man. Uh, rye. Okay. I get the rye. I get the cherry. I get the oak. I get the vanilla. I get the corn. <sighs> vanilla and lemon. Soft lemon though. It's like a soft lemon cupcake. Yeah. <sighs> is that your sexy Indiana or your sexy Kansas accent? That's my sex at Jim Beam. <laughs> More Sorry. like Jean Beam. Hello. We're only, this is our third of, yeah. how many years? Is third, it? Of okay. third of five. Third of five. We're doing back to back to back to back. That's why we're all in the same outfit because we're filming all in one day today, folks. So you can have our genuine responses. Yeah. I'm going in. Do have a go in. Um, the more I, I know it, the more pleasant it's, it's becoming. Um, of course, we haven't Ooh. worked it, so okay. it probably just needed to air out, maybe. Who knows? Actually, hold that thought. Make sure that the, the mic was turned on. Well, normally, Captain. you know, we, we open it a day or two before. We do. We let it air, air out. out. These are all uncorking. Uncorking scores. So, I don't know. And we recently did, I think it was the Starlight Rye, where I gave, there was a seven point difference from the uncorking to the review. So, yeah, you know, I think with these budget ones, Maybe we go back a year from now. Yeah, let's review them because we'll still have them. <laughs> Maybe so, not. Uh, Jim they they may be donated. Yeah. That's donated true. To a worthy cause. Our uh, adult children by adult over 21 love when we don't like whiskey. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Free whiskey. For um, me. I got a lot of oak on the palate. This is oak forward to me. Mm, um, yeah. Mm. But there's also those hints of, of vanilla. Mm. Um, yeah. I can drink this. I can drink this. Straight in a bar. What more for it? No. No. Um, ginger. There's a lot of ginger. Yes. Now in it. this, um, mm -hmm. it's oak and ginger, like uh, fresh ginger. Yep. Mm -hmm. You say, know when you go to like those yeah those places, the, you know those you know those places. Yes, I get all those different places. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know it's, exactly you get who she is. Some Shredded uh, ginger on the sides. Shredded ginger on the side. You talking about a Chinese restaurant? No, the raw fish place. Sushi. Sushi. Couldn't think of the sushi. word sushi. Sushi. You know all those places. Who is it that uh, recently that went viral because they considered sushi to be a uh, seafood restaurant? I went to a bunch. I saw you at the one seafood restaurant. You mean sushi? Was it got sushi? It's not a seafood restaurant. Some actor, I forget who it was. Bradley Cooper, maybe I forget who. Anyway. Well, I can see how it could be. I mean, there's a lot of raw fish. Fish is seafood. So. It was Johnny Depp. So it was Johnny Depp. Whatever. Yeah. Anywho, ginger. Water for me added added that ginger note, added a bit of freshly cut grass, which I'm, I'm actually liking this. I like it. Yeah, I got some grass. Hmm? I got some grass in my mouth. 
Did you say grass? Gr oh, grass, okay, grass. We'll never know, will we? If only this was recorded and it could be played back. Um, nah, I'm gonna change my score. I'm gonna change my score. I'm gonna do it a fancy 80. By fancy, I mean hurried, because wow. you're already done. I did 80, I did 79, 79. I raced it up to 80. This meets ex expectations, and that's what an 80 should do. Um, meets expectations. It's too oaky for me for an 80. It is, it is oaky. You're not wrong. Uh, what do you think I paid for it? Well, according to the rest of them. No, not the rest of them. What do you think I paid for this? Uh, 12. Actually, more than I thought I paid. I paid $18 for it. Did you now? Yes. Well, it's Jim Beam. What is that supposed to mean, well, it's Jim Beam? Because it's a name brand? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like Nike versus your uh, Target brand. Nike versus Target? Yeah. You get I think Target sells Nike. You get a t-shirt, right. you get your Target brand. Does Target have its own brand? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let us know down in the comments what, what your bottom whiskey is that you own right now. Um, <laughs> What's that? Sorry. I don't get what the left. Did I say something funny? No, when you said bottom, usually there's a term bottom something that's supposed to be oh, your best. Oh, for hookers? Yeah. Yeah. Your and, bottom, uh, yeah. your bottom girl. And yeah, the bottom. Supposed to be the best one. That's true. Whereas bottom whiskey, I don't know why I thought of that. Good. This is whiskey number three, folks. Yeah, we have two more to go. You're in. Good. You're gonna be. Yeah, tune in for the entertainment. Uh, thanks for your subscription to the channel and doing all those things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Bottoms up. Mm hmm.